Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we'll be looking at the Spanish 1 speaking final. That covers Descubre 1, Lessons 3 and 4. Uh, they, there are 10 questions from Lesson 3 and 10 from Lesson 4, and they cover things that we have learned in class. And what I'm going to do here for you is go through each question, tell you uh, what it means, what it sounds like, and then a possible good answer for that question. If you want to, I suggest you do two things. One, either print off this document and write down your answers, uh, or two, uh, make a copy of this document and type down your answers are actually, um, there's three things. Uh, I also have a quiz that's set here that have these questions on them. What you can do is open that up, make a copy of that quiz that's set if you're signed in, and then type in your answers on the opposite side so that you can study that way. But do one of those three things so that you can study these questions really well and have somebody that can ask these questions to you on a daily basis up until the final so that you can be well prepared for it. So let's get started. I'm going to just go kind of quick. So uh, as you're writing stuff down, just hit pause in the video so that you can have a second to write it down and then resume it by hitting play. So question one, como es tu amigo ideal is what is your ideal friend like? So you would say mi amigo or amiga ideal es and then an adjective to describe that person. So maybe it's going to be trabajador, hardworking or inteligente. Maybe the person's nice, simpatico or simpatica. Keep in mind the gender of the amigo or amiga. Como eres, number two. Como eres means what are you like? So you're going to say soy or yo soy, and then an adjective to describe yourself. Alto or baja, inteligente, something like that. Uh, número tres. Que comen tú y tus amigos mucho means what do you and your friends eat a lot? So you're going to say we eat something mucho. So the we eat will be comemos, and then whatever food, and then mucho. Comemos something mucho. Número cuatro, donde vive tu amigo means where does your friend live. So you're going to say mi amigo vive en, and then a place. Número cinco, cuántos animales tienes en tu casa is how many animals do you have at your house. So you can answer this a few different ways. You could say tengo, and then a number, animales. If you want to be specific and say maybe I have two dogs, you could do that and say tengo dos perros. Or maybe you don't have any animals. You could say no tengo animales. Número seis, a qué hora vienes a la escuela is what time do you come to school? So you can say I come to school at a certain time. And that would sound like vengo a la escuela a las and then the time. So maybe siete y media, 7.30, for example. Número siete, ¿cuántos años tienes? Means how old are you? So you're going to say, I have a number of years. So that would be, tengo, and then a number, años. Tengo quince años, for example. All right, número ocho, describe una persona en tu familia. Describe a person in your family. I want to know something they like to do and what they are like. So maybe I'm going to describe my cousin. I want to say that she is, or she likes to... Uh, go for a walk, and she is tall. I could say that. Mi, uh, a mi prima le gusta pasear. So that means my cousin likes to go for a walk. Y ella es alta, and she is tall. Número nueve, ¿Quién es tu persona favorita? Means who is your favorite person. So you're just going to say, mi persona favorita es, and then put either a name of a person or maybe their title, like, Mi padre or mi profesor de matemáticas. Número 10. ¿Qué te gusta hacer en la escuela? What do you like to do at school? So you're going to say, me gusta. And then something you like to do. So maybe you like uh, to draw in art class. Me gusta dibujar en la clase de arte. Or maybe you like to play soccer. Me gusta jugar al fútbol, for example. Uh, let's jump over to lesson four. Question one, ¿A dónde vas mucho? Is where do you go a lot? So you're going to say, I go, which is voy. And then a la, or al. So like voy a la cafetería mucho, or voy al gimnasio mucho. Or maybe voy a mi casa mucho. Número dos, ¿Qué deporte prefieres? What sport do you prefer? So we're going to say, yo prefiero. And then the name of the sport, of football, for example. Tres, que puedes hacer bien, is what can you do well? So you're going to say, I can do something well. So the I can part will be puedo, and then put a verb after it. Like, for example, if I want to say, I can speak Spanish well, I would say, puedo hablar español bien. 
And whatever verb you put after the puedo, don't change it. Just leave it in its original form. Número cuatro, ¿qué pides en tu restaurante favorito? Is what do you order at your favorite restaurant? So you're just going to say, I order, and then a food item. Yo pido, and then whatever food you want to order. Cinco, ¿dónde haces, la, uh, ¿dónde haces tu tarea? Is where do you do your homework? So you're going to say, yo hago mi tarea en, and then a place like la casa or en la biblioteca, en, en la clase, en la escuela, for example. Número seis, ¿en qué aplicación ves videos? Is on what app do you watch videos? So you're going to say, I watch videos on, and then name the app. So it's going to be, yo veo videos en, and then the name of the app. Yo veo videos en YouTube. Número siete, ¿qué traes a la escuela todos los días? Is what do you bring to school every day? So we're going to say, yo traigo, and then something a la escuela todos los días. So maybe I'm going to say, I bring my uh, computer to school every day. Yo traigo mi computadora a la escuela todos los días. Número ocho es, ¿dónde almuerzas? It's, where do you have lunch? So I have lunch will be almuerzo, and then you'll say a place. Yo almuerzo en la cafetería, or maybe almuerzo en un restaurante. Número nueve, ¿qué piensas hacer este verano? Is what do you plan to do this summer? So you're going to say, I plan, which is yo pienso, and then put a verb after it. So yo pienso uh, nadar mucho. I plan to swim a lot. Or maybe yo pienso trabajar. I plan to work. Something like that. And yes, ¿qué quieres hacer hoy? Is what do you want to do today? So we're going to say yo quiero, and then put a verb after it. So yo quiero uh, hablar español. I want to speak Spanish. Or yo quiero estudiar. I want to study. Yo quiero... Dormir. I want to sleep. Yo quiero jugar videojuegos. I want to play video games. All examples for you. All right, that's it. Uh, again, this document is in the description of the video, and this quiz set is linked on the document. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, hasta luego.